Number five, skyscrapers. About 1500 years ago, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him had predicted that the barefooted, poor shepherds, the Bedouins, those desert Arabs, will build tall buildings. In that time, the community was poor, such that the people used to complain to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, of their poverty. But today, the barefooted Bedouins, their children, the tribe of South, like MBPS, <coughs> are building tall, lofty buildings and mega projects like the line. Number four, the world health crisis. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had predicted about 1500 years ago of the world health crisis of obesity rising. He had predicted of a people after the time of companions, Rahmullah, who will be dishonest untrustworthy and bear witness when not asked and obesity will rise among them if you have the modern world where obesity is rising because we can't stop stuffing our faces with burgers and pizzas all those consumerist capitalist products dishonesty best represented by the amount of misinformation spread online misinformation and propaganda and false witnesses like those against our palestinian brothers and sisters number three Free mixing, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him had predicted a time will come when business will increase and the women will join workforce with the men. After industrialization, the demand for wage labor increased and slavery ended, calling women out of their homes. Whereas women throughout most of human history, including the time of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, before the modern world, across cultures universally, men used to toil the fields and work in the bazaars and women used to take care of the children and the house. This free mixing has led to many problems with women being harassed and molested and having to kiss up to move up the ladder in the corporate world. Number two, the Middle East crisis. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him had famously predicted fitna, trials and tribulations for the Arabs. He told the people that he sees trials and tribulations entering into each household of the Arabs as if rain pouring down into each house. Another tradition paints a down picture. He told of nations that will come after us Muslims and persecute us as if one calls others to share his dish. And that would be because we would become this scum and rubbish of the earth for our love of dunya, of the worldly life and our fear of death. Because God would remove the fear of us from the non-believers. Now number one, the rise of Islam. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him had predicted that Islam will enter into every land which the day and night have touched and enter into every household. So true enough, today Islam is the most rapidly growing religion on the planet and given the trajectory, it will take over the world. God willing, inshallah. These prophecies were made about 1500 years ago now. These were very specific, the words very particular. No amount of ambiguity exists in them. For them to come true like this, this was by God's mercy on Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And to my non-believer audience, I call you to Islam. For more study, I recommend to you the Quran. Now, before watching this video, subscribe.